Hey guys, I wanted to share another uh, customize up video and introduce you guys to this device here called my spool. So my spool is a uh, basically a power monitor. Uh, you can monitor both AC and DC power sources. And if the power is lost, this device is going to send an alert. So um, I use this for my AC 300 split phase environment. And I have one on my master and then right here tucked away on the handle, I have my second one for my slave. So what this is, is there is a wire going down here and it's plugged into one of my AC ports on my master unit. So as long as the uh, AC 300 is sending out power, this, my spool is going to receive power and it's happy. But if I lose power, say my AC output shuts off for either an error or for some other reason this has an internal battery on it that's basically going to run for a few seconds and it's going to wait to see if the power comes back on if it doesn't it's going to send me a sms uh, alert to my phone or a email if i configure that as well so one of the key elements to having this thing work is internet so in my split phase environment, these guys are running about 70% of my home, including my internet. So in order for me to maintain internet so that this guy can send out a message, I actually have, and my internet's behind, sorry for the mess of the wires, I'm installing something new. I have down there, if you could see, some cyber power UPSs. So these two right here pretty much run my internet, my switches, my security system, uh, network switches, I mean, a ton of stuff but these are all my sensitive electronics here and these two ups's initially get their power from these two ac 300s however if these guys go down those guys have their own battery backup and they'll run for about an hour so that means that's plenty of time for this my spool to send out a uh, an emergency alert to me basically saying something's gone wrong so let me show you how this basically works so uh, there is this plug right here. Uh, it is actually just a USB adapter, so meaning I can um, check for AC uh, power issues, or I have USB where I can plug this guy directly into one of these USB ports, and now I can also monitor DC out if that's more important to you. So for me, obviously this guy's on right now. He's bright, he's happy. If we went here and we actually shut off the outbound AC power, simulating that basically something went wrong, you can see the light went off. Now, there is an internal battery on here that will continue checking this, I think, for a few seconds. I think it might be like five seconds is what I have it configured for. And if power is not restored, this guy is going to send me an emergency alert. Well, actually, that guy is going to send me an emergency alert as well. Because since I'm in split phase, once I kill power on here, it's going to kill power on my slave. Both of these, and actually literally it's happening right now, you guys just can't see it. Um, I'm getting alerts on my cell phone saying that the master has lost power and that the slave has lost power. Now, let's say that these guys just tripped and they come on automatically. So we're going to restore power here. Okay. Obviously, I got power back on the master and I've got power back on the slave. If I want, I can configure on the MySpool website to receive notifications for power restoration. So you can configure a lot of settings on the MySpool website, but I figure that since we don't get notifications today um, through either the Blue Eddy app or these devices, that power has been lost. And sometimes you have critical loads. I have a freezer right here. I have a refrigerator upstairs. I don't want to be not home and come home and find that this has been dead for eight hours or my fridge has spoiled food. So this has been very, very critical for me and they work. I mean, I've been surprised sometimes I'll be out doing something either in the backyard or completely not home and I'll get an alert. So either A, I call somebody if they're at home to come check on it or B, I can come home and, and resolve the situation, or at least I know what to expect. But I wanted to share this device with you guys because uh, I think it's like 50, 60 bucks. It is not the cheapest thing, but I'm sorry, man. If I, I don't want to lose everything that's in my uh, freezer and my fridge, it's worth it. So just want to share this tip with you guys.